What's up guys? We are here at Castle Lanes and we have some special, special news for you. Last month, the month of February, was our best month ever in the membership. A lot of you guys signed up under the 375 deal where you get a bowling ball. So we have extended it through the month of March. So if you're not done so, click the link below if you're looking for coaching or you're looking for a bowling ball. We got you on both. It covers an entire year of coaching under a private Facebook group with our coach. Daniel Puerto. So extension into the March, click the link below, code STORM when you click the sign up. And that is our membership, folks. Today we are at Castle Lanes. It is an off day and we are practicing and we thought we were gonna get you guys to see what we are working on, what Kyle's working on, what I am working on. And that is our video for today. Deep breath. That was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> All right, so Denny, I want you to get an emphasis on my trail leg right now. I want to show you guys my trail leg. I've talked about it in the vlog, but we're going to get into action today. My goal this shot is to keep my trail leg on the ground, but not just on the ground, my pinky toe on the ground. A lot of you guys already probably do it, but it's hard for me. So let's see if I can do it. did it for one for two. <laughs> oh, it, you did it it did not come close to striking it did so it's uh it's a work in progress so for every one of you in the comments we know brad's working on his trail leg now brad's gonna throw five shots right here and he's gonna really emphasize that trail leg now you think it's easy but sometimes even though no. we're thinking about it Sorry. it's not easy so i want to Everyone in the comments, I want you to rate Brad on a one to 10 scale, 10 being the best, how well he keeps his trail leg down right now. Brad, how'd you feel on those? Well, I did a couple of them pretty good. That fourth one, I think, was uh, pretty rough. <laughs> Wasn't great. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's the one thing that's been really, really hard for me to do. We all have that one thing that just really irks us when we start practicing and we can't get it done. It takes days or maybe even weeks to master. So yeah, not great, but you know, it's progress. We just worked on it. And then one day it just clicks. Hopefully it clicks tomorrow or the next day. So, what about you? What are we doing? Dennis, come over here. Right here. All right. So, right now I'm really not working on like a ton. Um, had a decent week, but there is a couple things that I want to uh, get better at to try to be better longer in tournaments. One of those is being a little softer and more comfortable in my setup. So, I have a tendency to put my hand in the ball to really get very muscly and like placing right here. And sometimes when I'm fresh and my body's feeling really good, I get away with it. But as soon as I get later in tournaments where I'm a little tired or whatever, um, it becomes way too lethargic and not just smooth. And I start grabbing and all this stuff. So really all that I'm trying to think about right now is when I set up, I just want to set up and a nice comfortable position and then when I go to drop the ball I just want it to feel nice and soft and loose I don't want it to be grabby it's actually Schlemmer taught me this in the last tournament and it helped me out a lot later in the tournament so what happens a lot of times is when you're grabby at the beginning a lot of times you're really grabby at the end so I'm working on that when I tried it I tried it out and it worked really well later in the tournament so we're gonna throw five shots here and the one thing you can really tell if I did it right or not is if if I hit up on it I didn't do it right so if you kind of see me hit up and the ball goes up before it goes down and this wasn't a very good shot but if you see it nice and easy smooth into the lane that means it was probably good
So there's your five shots. Uh, it's getting there. My hand definitely feels more relaxed. It's crazy when I try to get relaxed, I can really feel myself when I can grab you at the beginning and I can also feel at the end, when your hand isn't nice and relaxed, sometimes at the end when you're releasing the ball, it's hard to get that hand in the right spot and you just feel like it's off and you have no consistency and when I'm looser, like more relaxed, I think my rev rate's better. The ball just does everything. So at least, I guess to kind of wrap it up, we're not really trying to work on a bunch of things. Like Brad has his one thing, I have my one thing and a lot of times when we're bowling out here, we don't want to change a whole bunch but it's good to have like that one thing to kind of focus on to help you get back in shape doing it right i don't know for me i need to think about something because if i just go up there and bowl a lot of times it doesn't go well a lot of things work themselves out in tournament too like we'll bowl on a pattern that makes you do something quite a bit differently and then you go to thinking okay well maybe if i do this the natural like you know adjustments that you make during a round so a lot of it's just like preparing to be able to like adjust to whatever pattern we're going on. So when he does his things well, soft, you know, gentle, uh, you can adjust way better in tournament. And then for me, my balance is way better, meaning I can read the ball motion a lot better, and then I can make a lot of great adjustments in turn. So, yeah, practice session, you know, it can be whatever you guys want, 10 minutes, two hours, just depends on what you have going on. Yeah, I would say ours is normally an hour, 45 minutes to an hour and a half is probably like a normal practice session. Sometimes we'll go for two or three hours if we want to, like, like today, we're practicing a little bit longer, but, yeah, we're also bowling a lot right now too, so it all kind of like blends together. So yeah, I think the moral of the story is our practices are probably not a whole lot different than nah. your practices, nah. and that's just some insight on what kind of we're thinking during our practice session. So we're gonna throw a few more shots, try to get some good ones in. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, the merch sale—it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for supporting it. Yeah. And I think we're good. I think we're good. We'll see you in the doubles.